whether she was walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, God surrounded and protected her. As I said earlier, now that we have tied the boundaries, even if anyone experiences any karmic obstructions, such as being possessed, that obstruction will quit and not be stopped. One, since the boundaries are locked down, and you are here listening to the sutra, all the accounts temporarily quit. No one is allowed to come here to bother anyone. Or hustle anyone. You have to concentrate on listening to the sutra, the drum of protecting good spirits, the eightfold divisions of gods, dragons, and others. All protect her. Although she is protected, her mother, however, embraced a different faith and often slighted the triple jewel. Her mother does not believe in the proper dharma, but believes in devan dharmas instead. What does it mean by the believing in devan dharmas? This is not necessarily about believing in heretics or cults. Actually, she has beliefs and has questions. Believing in Buddhism today and question it tomorrow, she says she believes in the triple jewel. But I have not seen any Buddha of the Triple Jewel or the Dharma. Although there are sutras, it is no big idea. Sangha members, they are people too. Why should I respect some monastic? She is skeptical, which is faith in the devil. She does not maintain any proper mindfulness, which is a devil thought. Without a proper faith, your faith is in the devil. For instance, some externalists say, "Give me one million dollars, and I will sell you the role of an emperor in a future life." You think about being an emperor in a future life, so you give them a million dollars. Actually, how can the role of an emperor be sold? You. How can you buy the role of an emperor? Perhaps you can buy the presidency in a modern democracy. You are a woman in this lifetime and not a president, but I can guarantee that you become a president in a future life if you give me one million dollars. Whether you become a president or not in the future, you will not be able to fight him and get your one million dollars back. These externalists did not start an insurance company, guaranteeing any of this. This is faith in the devil. How can you buy a presidency with one million dollars? That does not make any sense. Buying a presidency with one million dollars may be possible. How? I can lobby people to vote for me with that one million dollars. But you have to be an American citizen, not a foreign citizen, to do that in the United States. Explanations based on different faith do not make sense. Give me one hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, or ten thousand dollars, and I will guarantee that you become a man instead of a woman in your future lives. Do you hear this? And you think this is not bad. One million dollars buys a future life as a man is not too expensive, since this is quite economical. You give some Islamist teacher a million dollars, he puts the money in his pocket and goes off to drink, eat meat, and play women. When he has done everything, you cannot get all of your money back. I guarantee that I will be a man in the future. This is no guarantee either. This is David. These are one or two tactics that Swan Twindlers use. She often cited the triple jewel, since she believes in David Dharma all the time. She did not believe in the proper Dharma. David Dharma consists of. Why believe in the Buddha? You are a Buddha. 
just give me $65 and it will be fine. $65 plus Buddhahood, that is a Devon Dharma, Devon Path. How can Buddha be portrayed with money? You can become a Buddha, but you do not buy Buddhahood with money. You may use money to create merit. When you accumulate enough merit, then you realize Buddhahood. Create merit while you cultivate such as meditating. You should not refuse to cultivate. For instance, if Shakyamuni Buddha could have bought Buddhahood, he does not need to sit in the Himalayas for six years, sit underneath the Bodhi tree, see a bright star, and become enlightened. When he was a prince, he had so rich, he could have very well bought Buddhahood. Buddhahood is not portrayed with money. Sliding the triple jewel means looking down on the triple jewel, slandering and sabotaging monastics. Some Cantonese people like the triple jewel because they cannot stand bishops and missionaries. The worthy daughter, the Brahman woman, made use of many expedients. Expedients are for provisional explanations for people who only have a rough understanding of the Dharma. In trying to convince her mother, encouraging and enticing someone. For instance, children like candy, so you tell them, I have a piece of candy, follow me and I will give you the candy. This is an enticement. This Brahma woman tells her mother something similar, follow me and study the Buddha Dharma. The Buddha Dharma is the best, it is number one. But her mother does not believe her, encouraging and enticing her mother to hold right views so that her mother will develop proper knowledge and proper views. But her mother never totally believed the Brahman woman's mother half believed and half doubted the principles she heard. Perhaps what you say contains some principle, but maybe not completely. Some of my refuge disciples, for example, do not believe certain principles entirely. Before long, the mother's life ended soon. Some think it is best if someone is dead because he does not know anything. He does not want to eat, dress, sleep, or work. He does not need to do anything. Although it is the best, it is also the worst. What is the worst thing? Death. If you do good deeds, you will become born in the three good destinies. Whereas if you do evil deeds, you will become born in the three evil destinies, either hell, hungry ghosts, or animals. Yesterday, a few visitors came to the Buddha Hall, and I told them about the responsibilities of soldiers. What responsibilities? I told them that there are bodhisattvas and asuras in the military. Bodhisattvas in the army teach and transform living beings so that living beings do not kill too many people, whereas asuras in the army encourage living beings to kill more and more. They feel that the more they kill, the mightier they appear and the all the highest achievements. Buddhist advice, in contrast, tell people not to kill but to help two countries to coexist peacefully by resolving their problems. They tell military men that they earn the highest achievements and highest ranking offices if they do that. I told these visitors that they must emulate Bodhisattvas and not Asuras. What are Asuras? What are Bodhisattvas? There were two generals in China. One was Kuan Yu. He killed lots of people, but he became a Bodhisattva after death. On the other hand, General Bai Qi of the Qin reign killed lots of people too, but he turned into an ox, a pig, or a horse after death. Why? It is because he buried alive 200,000 soldiers who surrendered. He had the heart of an Asura. Kuan Yu killed bad people and not good people. He eliminated the violence and brought peace to the kite. 
In the end, one became a bodhisattva, and the other became an ox, a horse, a pig, and a sheep. You have an American friend. We have an American friend who is in the Navy. He asked me, "Do you believe people will become animals after death?" At the time, I said, "It is fun whether you believe people become animals after death or otherwise. Believe, and you will become an animal if you deserve it. Doubt it, and you become you will become an animal if you deserve it. You will become an animal if that is what you should be after death." That cannot be changed. Do the deeds of Buddhas, you are a Buddha. Do the deeds of Bodhisattvas, you are a Bodhisattva. Do the deeds of humans, you are a human being. Do the deeds of ghosts, you are a ghost. Do the deeds of animals, you are an animal. You are what you do. This is not about doing what you believe, but not doing what you do not believe, whether you believe it or not. You will do what you must do. You will definitely not do what you should not do. This is not a matter of faith. What Chinese is thinking? This idea is very lofty and profound. I will be coming to learn the Buddha Dharma. Speaking of dying soon, each of us should think about our own deaths. Before long, the Brahman woman's mother died. And what about me? When will I die? Where will I go after death? Will I end up in the hells like the Brahma woman's mother? We listen to the sutras, and for each part we hear, we must reflect instead of letting it go in one ear and out the other. That would be meaningless. Everyone will die. Do not believe what I said earlier. About death being the best thing, do not believe that death is the worst thing either. People will die in the future, whether death is good or bad. Do good and it will be good. Do bad and it will be bad. Earlier I said, plant good causes and reap good fruits. Plant evil causes and reap evil fruits. The ancients had to had this to say. Seeing the death of others, but my heart burns like fire. My heart burns like fire. It burns not for others, but I wonder when it be me. When I see someone pass away, my heart is blazing hot, like it is on fire. I am not sad for the death of others, but I wonder how come he died. Soon it will be my turn. A few days ago, I talked about how there are more births than deaths. But deaths do come to each one of us in turn. Seeing the death of others, my heart burns like fire. It burns not to, not for others. But I wonder when it be me. Since you are not afraid of death, you may die soon or now. Why do you not? This has nothing to do with being afraid or not. But whether the death is peaceful or unexpected. Unexpected deaths are accidents such as car crashes, or plane problems, boat drownings, and train crashes. These are all expected accidental deaths. Die when you would like, would like a peaceful death. What if you do not want to die? You can cultivate it for immortality. Cultivators are liberated from birth and death. They may live forever if they want to. They may sit right down and enter nirvana right now. If they do not want to live with that kind of mastery, life and death is up to me rather than fate. No one is in charge of me. I am in charge of myself. If I want to die, I may die now. If I do not want to die, I may live forever. When we cultivate, we are cultivating this ability. When you have this ability, however, you do not want to remain in this world sometimes because this world is too turbid. This world of five turbidities is unclean. Before long, her life ended, and her consciousness fell into the relentless hell. 
her consciousness is the eighth consciousness. After the Brahman woman's mother died, her soul and consciousness fell into the relentless hell. What is the relentless hell? Their, their time is relentless, life is relentless, and bodies are relentless. This refers to how this world is full when one person is in it or many people are in it. We will explain the relentless hell in more detail later. What does it mean by relentless? Relentless means that it is uninterrupted and continuous. When you are in this hell, you suffer and yet your life continues, dying then becoming soon, becoming born and dying. This is one function of this unchanging consciousness. When her mother's life ended, the Brahma woman, knowing that her mother had not believed in cause and effect while alive, her mother did not believe that good causes will result in good effects and evil causes result in evil results. Her lack of faith is an impure cause that will end in impure results. When we cause is wrong, the effect will be wrong too. Feared that her karma would certainly pull her into the evil paths. She considered the various evil karma her mother created and figured that her mother will definitely become reborn in an evil destiny. For that reason, she sold the family house and acquired many kinds of expensive and famous incense, flowers and other gifts. With those, she performed a great offering to the Buddha with incenses, flowers, lamps, candles, fruits, banners, canopies, and many articles in that thus come one enlightenment flower, samadhi, self-mastery, Buddha stupas, and monasteries. Sutra, she saw an especially Find image of the first common enlightenment flower, Samadhi Self Mastery King, in one of the monasteries. As the Brahma woman beheld the honored countenance, she became doubly respectful while thinking to herself, Buddhas are called greatly enlightened ones who have attained all wisdom. If this Buddha were in the world, I could ask him where my mother went after she died, he would certainly know. Commentary She, the Brahma woman, saw an especially fine image of the third common enlightenment flower, Samadhi Self Mastery King, in one of the monasteries. As the Brahma woman beheld the honored countenance, the look of awesome virtue replaced with the Thirty-two hallmarks and the eighty secondary characteristics of this clay stature. She became doubly respectful while thinking to herself, Buddhas are called greatly enlightened ones who cultivate, uh, who have attained all wisdom, which consists of three types: the wisdom of the Varieties of ways, the wisdom of all dhammas and the wisdom of all modes. If this Buddha were in the world, I could ask himself, I could ask him where my mother went after she died. He would certainly know where my mother went. I have a question for everyone to ponder. Although we should not think why cultivating, but everybody consider this question. Did people come to this world to eat so that we live or do we live to eat? Sutra, the Brahman woman then wept for a long time as she gazed longingly upon the first come one. Suddenly a voice in the air said, a weeping worthy woman, 
Do not be so sorrowful. I shall now show you where your mother has gone. The Brahman woman placed her paws together as she addressed space, saying, "Which virtuous divinity is comforting me in my grief? Ever since the day I lost my mother." I have held her in memory day and night, and there is no way I can go to ask about the realm of her rebirth. The voice in the air spoke to the woman again. I am the one whom you behold and worship. The former enlightenment flower, somebody said, must regain first karma, because I have said your regard. I have seen your regard. For your mother is double that of ordinary beings. I have come to show you where she is. Commentary: The Brahman woman woman thought the Buddha is the wisest enlightened being. Unfortunately, the Buddha has entered Nirvana now. If the Buddha were in the world and my mother passed away, I would ask the Buddha where my mother become reborn. He would. Definitely no. The Brahma woman then lowered her head and wept for a long time, or just a certain period of time that is not necessarily necessarily fixed, as she gazed longingly upon the first come one. She could not bear to leave the Buddha, for instance. There is no rope, but now it seems as if there is a rope that tied her to the image. Which is longing. She didn't want to leave the image of first come one enlightenment flower, somebody self mastery king. Suddenly, a voice in the air said, "This is a time when the Brahman woman is concentrated in body and mind, without other false thought, other than the longing for Buddha and the thought of missing the Buddha nature. Her mind could be said to be sure, be pure at this time. At this time, a voice came out of nowhere. What kind of sound was it? O、oh, weeping, worthy woman, although your mother committed offenses, you have your good rules. This is why she was called a worthy woman. Do not be so sorrowful. Do not cry so hard. Do not be too sad. I shall now show you whether your mother has gone. Let me tell you where your mother went. Do not cry. The Brahma woman placed her palms together, faced the sky as she addressed space, saying. Which virtuous divinity is comforting me in my grief? Which bodhisattva is this? Which immortal is this? You are so kind. You relieve me of sadness with such compassion. You comfort me so that I am not sad or worried. Virtue is a kind of compassionate virtue. Ever since the day I lost my mother. When she died, I have held her in memory day and night. I thought about my mother day and night, but there is no way I can go to ask. Why do I miss my mother? My mother gave me this body, so I will should be filial to her. My mother passed away before I fulfilled my filial obligations. This is why I am. I am especially sad. Actually, the trees wish to be still, but the wind does not stop. The children wish to care for their parents, but they are gone. The trees want to stop swiggling for a while, but wind blows them back and forth. The trees wish to be still, but the wind does not stop. The children wish to care their parents, but they are gone. Just when I want to take care of my mother and be filial, repay the kindness of my parents, they are gone. So it is said, Father, Mother, your kindness is so extremely great; it is higher than the heavens. The grace of our parents is higher than the heavens and thicker than 
earth. I am very ashamed and sad that I was not filial to my mother, do not have a place to ask about the realm of her rebirth. I do not know whether my mother went to the heavens or fell into the hills. Strangely enough, when she spoke to space, the voice in the air spoke to the Brahma woman again. I am the one whom you behold and worship, the spiritual being who relieved you of your sadness and worries. The former enlightenment flower Samadhi self mastery king first come on, because I have seen that your regard for your mother, how much you miss your mother, is double that of ordinary beings. Why is the Brahman woman able to move the former enlightenment Flower somebody self mastery, King Thus Come One, to speak to her from space. This line of text makes it clear that it is because I see that you miss your mother more than ordinary people. For instance, other people miss their father or mother 100%, while you miss your mother 200%, double the average. You are so sincere that the way you think about your parents is different than most living beings. I have come to show you where she is, even though I have entered Nirvana. You have moved me so much that I have come to tell you.